Hi lovelies, welcome to My Life and Tarot and today we are talking about gods. So, the diving in deep into the wooden tarot and since the aces or the gods in this deck have a slightly bit more going on on the cards than on the Rider White, which follow which they system they follow. Um, because of all of their hand gestures are different. So let's look into the differences and what the differences might suggest to us. I hope. This all is visible. I see a little bit clear. Can't do nothing about that, I think. But um, yeah, the God of Plumes, God of Stones, um, God of Blooms, and God of Bones. Swords, um, Wands, Cups, and Coins. Air, fire, water, and earth. So, I was reminded by lovely Diane Jarecki, Indigo Moon Woman, that I am pronouncing the plumes like uh, not correctly. I think I mentioned them in the suit description as plums, maybe. So, you have to roll with that. I'm not re recording this because. Um, them plums it is as English is not my my native language so I can make mistakes uh, sometimes that doesn't mean I'm entitled to make mistakes but uh, it might happen so I hope you can live with that and and not plums but plumes I think it was the right way to pronounce it. So, let's start with the swords or the god of plumes. So, the way this god, why gods, I thought about why they are gods, but gods give us the initiation, the life, the, the everything. And if you look at the Rider White deck, um, the hand coming out of the cloud, not attached to any body or, or mm, something human related or earthly human body related. These hands also suggest that this is something that is offered or given you from the or created for you. Uh, or presented to you or for you by something that is coming out of the etheric or the higher plane. So these hands are the God's hands. The initiators, the, the uh, life givers and the gods are giving the start, the life to every suit being the first the number one and so that's why the gods make sense in a, a, uh, a beautiful way so the god of plumes or the ace of swords god of swords god of air uh, the way the hands are pointing, I'm like the the pointing finger is is uh, stretched forward, uh, showing the precision that the sword has. The point, it's like if we make a point, we also use this um, hand movement, or we we just point it out. So this is how I see the pointing out the maybe 
the point <laughs> on this this uh, hand position on the guard here and like I said earlier in the the uh, suit uh, video the feather or the plume not uh, not being straight forward but but in the flow or in the movement this is the gift from the god of air so to speak uh, to you the gift of precision the gift of idea the point so to speak also something else that i later or just now noticed with the uh, gods being side by side um, the cloud formation in every ace is actually present in every card as well the clouds are on every card i initially did not um, notice that even so that's interesting i'm not too sure about the eye color because it would make more sense if the earth would have brown eyes and the water blue eyes uh, or the air blue eyes or well something like that so so it's somewhat um, the color of the uh, iris or the eye is not making sense yet if you think of it there's the the uh, every element has to work with some other element and match so so fire can't uh, be or live without air um, so so things like that they connect with each other and I'm thinking the eye color might be the suggestion that that um, the things we see does not maybe have no significance as much as we as we would like them to have signi significance the eye color is not important the eye color is something that can occur in every different um, element so to speak and elements are working together so the eye colors are maybe just switched to to distress that fact if one day the creator decides to make a book for the deck by then I am probably, uh, I have or probably uh, already made up my mind about every card and discovered uh, my own meaning to them. So the book would not make, be much of a help by then, but I would certainly want to know some things still, if I was right. Uh, what I see and to com compare with with uh, what the creator has actually meant but that's that blabbering so that precision the pointing out the the gift of of uh, precise idea or the the um, creating of the the precise as it has the arrowhead on it there's all also look like something um, rock in his hand which other gods don't other gods have only one element but here I can see something more which I'm not sure what or is it fingers 
this is like holding fingers like sorry my hands are not maybe too clean I was just creating something and I have um, paint on my hands so the um, finger I think this is the finger not the rock I would have to actually take a magnifier glass to, to be sure, sure, but it looks like the fingers, like when you are like this, these fingers here. So otherwise it wouldn't just make any sense, I think. Or if it is a rock, maybe it is suggesting the weight of or the importance and the weight of the actual um, um, responsibility that comes with with these types of things ideas and and how we are going to make those things happen and where we bring things from there so next is the god of stones the fire element the wands Again, fire uh, and and uh, antlers and the um, crystal, red crystal that is the suit um, elements that are suit elements in this suit. So. Every one of them are floating there because because they are creating the hand movements on every everything are they showing the magic of creating out of thin air so to speak. But um, these hands are the right side hand up and left hand down pointed towards the creation. So with the right hand making things happen and giving this this um, stone the power if we are looking at the here is the right hand up as well and this is the right hand as well so prominent is the right side up so the creation but also you can see as this uh, looks like it's holding the fingers in precise precise um, position this movement suggests that he's moving the hands up and down and doing the circles and actually actively creating this this um, gift of, of fire, gift of action and, and uh, creation. So, and if we look at this, you can see this is other way around, but still the right hand. So the right hand is up. Now the God of Blooms, the water element, the the um, Ace of Cups is presenting, is giving. This is like the true gift of creation, not only actively or precisely creating something, but out of the like we give the emotions with open hands and palms up with the gesture that that um, shows the honesty within this emotion so the hand position is like like showing the giving of the beautiful start of the emotion the the gift because emotions can be given in a different way than the objects 
these are like cherished and as this is actively created this is as well like like um, you can see the creation or the pre precision creation here it is giving life to something in a totally different way which talks about emotions and as well as you can see this is not holding the cup in a fist so to speak but this is the giving the open palm and the gift is on the palm as we give it to someone so very subtle and and beautifully even the hand gestures are are actually speaking rider white so next and the last is god of bones or the god of no nah, the ace of um coins or the earth element and here you can see the left hand is up and right hand is down if you look at this then you can see it's also right hand so this is different uh, otherwise it's not like um, shown as on the ace of, of coins at all while the others make sense in the hand gesture or the hand way this makes us to delve, delve in a little bit deeper and think about the left hand what we do with the left hand we take we are not giving but we are taking so being the thigh bone or the biggest bigger bone in the body or the heaviest and probably sturdiest this taking or giving the palm up movement is not making sense in a rider white way as the whole whole uh, god of bones itself doesn't speak about the the gate and the the path and and uh, the lush garden so I think you can or you don't have to think or figure out why the hand is like this I have to uh, acknowledge that I haven't yet figured it out because in my mind, minds, I, I thought the um, ace of coins actually had a left hand on it in the right or right, but apparently it no, it's not and, and in this sense this is like not following the right or right system so much so the the let's just try to figure it out because because that's why i'm here that's why i'm doing this um first first diving in deep with you because when i talk about things uh it helps me to understand things more than sometimes just sitting with uh, I don't know the card or just looking through sometimes it helps to speak or say it out loud so I'm trying to envision to make this this um, hand gesture here behind the camera and figure it out how it how it uh, makes sense to me so the right hand is holding up with the energy and it's not like floating between the hands 
but the left hand is somewhat saying stop to me or I don't want to take it kind of way. If we use that hand gesture, oh, okay, I can see that the god is ma making the hand gesture. He has uh, already created this, as others are still in the process of creating. This is ready, this is for you, offered for you. But this here is ready as well, but not offered as much as given like in a really simple way if you reach out the right hand with the bone he is like presenting this and showing with that other hand that that um, take care of it this is like some kind of warning that um, be careful what you wish for this is something that you will stand on throughout your whole life so be careful with it and don't take it for granted maybe but this is the gift for you like like um, gift and a warning or maybe some type of of um, lecture that that uh, you can replace other things you can have new thoughts new ideas you can have new actions something you will have new emotions you will have all this but this you can't replace this is part of you and you will use it throughout your life this is a base you're standing on so take care of it and and appreciate it and be careful with it because if you lose it then Although it's fixable, but if we are talking about like the animal kingdom, like the whole deck is not the human bone, then if you lose it, you will have a bad time and you are not, can't be live with, with a full um, power or, or something like that. Maybe it's a warning or, or just saying that, that um, appreciate what you have and what you have given because you will have it for the lifetime. This can't be replaced or changed. And use it wisely. So, these are my thoughts about the wooden tarot gods and like I said in my previous videos, I think I said it, let me know what you think, what you see in them because we can teach each other and we can learn from each other and make our visions broader and see more and understand more and, and all that good stuff. So, so yeah, this is my take on the gods on the wooden tarot glary deck. So thank you for watching and we will meet with the final part, the chords of this deck, when I have been chewing myself into the information that the different animals and, and um, birds are carrying. So I will now go do some re researches. Thank you for watching and